Do and the first movie we ever saw was um, Moshe tricked me into thinking he liked art movies, and so he brought over. Uh, was it seventh in, Seal. The Seventh Seal. The Ingmar Bergman vehicle starring Max von Sydow. That was our first date. Second date, Rambo, First Blood. Wow. You've got to ease him into it, and then... And now it's been a lifetime of uh, monster movies and people whose hands turn into machine guns. Which she's not into. We've had to find a very specific Venn diagram of, like, snobby enough for her, but interesting enough for me. And it, it can be difficult. Uh, this That dovetails nicely to this next question, which is... Fairly simple, and you guys mentioned a little bit before, but how do you guys handle fights? Um, how do we handle fights? Well, we definitely talk about it. Moshe's a really good talker. He's very hard to fight with because he's he's just... Uh, Got that kind of Jew brain, you know? You know, he knows how to like, turn things around and like not admit he's wrong and... Kind of well, like, it's like judo, you know, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm, I'm in the wrong. I'm going to stop fighting. Well, it's difficult to admit you're wrong when you almost never are. And that's a problem that I've had. So to the fellas out there, all I can say is uh, once in a while, just, uh, just pretend you were wrong. Yeah. But, I mean, we definitely talk it out, right? Yeah. And we compromise. Like when we first met, um, Moshe wanted, he thinks hotels should be under $100. I think they should have an extra S in the word and that there should be bunk beds with European <laughs> travelers. Okay. That's essentially where I'm at. And I would, I kind of lied to him about the price of some of the hotels we were staying at. Natasha's more on a kind of price point of like, uh, you know, a, a sort of a Fijian man tossing lilac petals at your feet no, as you I walk into your No, I just always like yeah. Google where does Beyonce stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, then I spend the whole check on that. Um, so then I lied, and then Moshe and I got into a big fight because they put the, the you know, they put the bill under the door sometimes. And I was paying for it. We were splitting it. it. Right, we were splitting shared it. Shared bank account. She had lied about, this was before the shared bank account. She had said that it cost one amount, and it actually cost another amount. And I looked at the bill, and I got like, I started getting kind of like street, you know. I was like, you, you don't fuck with my money. That's my money. And uh, that's not a good area. But we know? had a yeah. great conversation about it and came to an amazing, because I was like, well, this is the beginning of the relationship, and I'm not staying at youth hostels, so I'm going to have to come up with something. So we came up with this great compromise that's lasted, you know, five years, which mm -hmm. is I pay for all the hotels out of my own personal bank account, and he pays for all of our food. Yeah, and it's cool. I now realize what a great deal I got, because as we all know, you stay in hotels about as often as you eat meals. <laughs> so in the long run, I've done really well for myself. <laughs> Thanks, hon. Well, actually, though, the, the price point of hotels that I'm buying, is it probably works out. It does not work out. <laughs> there is no way it works we'll out. We'll get an accountant on it, and we'll figure out who's winning and losing. The compromise is always about a winner and a loser, isn't Leo, it? Leo, we yeah. don't need an accountant. I've said that I am Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> I've crunched the numbers. <laughs>